Welcome to Data Analysis Expression, DAX. In this video, you'll learn what DAX is and why Excel needs it for modern analytics. You'll learn how to build a real data model using Power Pivot. You'll be able to differentiate between fact tables and dimension tables and know how to work together. How relationships connect tables for cross-table analysis. You'll be able to create your own DAX measures. You'll understand how DAX measures behave inside pivot tables, why DAX is better than your traditional Excel formulas for big data. And lastly, we will use real-world scenario either from retail, e-commerce or logistics. Before we get DAXing, there are terms we will encounter in DAX that we need to understand. Let's prepare the files and the environment we need. So let's go to File, More, Options, then Add-ins, click here, then Add this, go. Right, over here you'll see Microsoft, you can see it here, Power Pivot. Now we are going to convert each of our tables to Excel table, then load to the data model through Power Query. Now that we are done converting to Excel table and defining the range, let's go to data and over here you'll see from table slash range, wait for Power Query to load. In this environment, you can make changes to your data set. You can remove duplicates, missing values or replace them. You can also make changes to the data type if need be but if there's no need go to close and load to right you click on only create connection add this to data model okay now go on and repeat the same steps for the remaining tables we have successfully added our tables to the model now let's create relationships you go to power pivot and over here manage right let's click on design create relationship now there are two ways to do this either you use this create relationship or you use the diagram view let's look at this one you have the first table here now you need to select the next table let's say you want to join customers and orders table what you need to do is look for a corresponding column for example i have customer id which is the primary key in customers table i will look for it in the orders table where it is serving as the foreign key right so if i click here okay this relationship has been established and you can do the same for others but i want to use the diagram view you click here and you'll see your data table right so you look at each of your data table for the corresponding columns orders table i'll simply click here and then drag to connect with this right that gives me one to many relationships and then look at orders table with product table what do we have we have product id here and we also have product id here that is established many to one next we look at product table and delivery no relationship no relationship with 
customer table as well but there is with others table so we'll click on other id and link with this right this relationship has been established and if you look at this this is a kind of a star schema a star schema is a kind of data model right so we've established the relationship let's move on now let's create our dax measures and calculated columns let's start with revenue though total amount is the same method for calculating revenue but let's just demonstrate how calculated column is done go to the formula bar type in the name of the column revenue space colon equal sign then the formula quantity times unit price enter right we have a new column called revenue let's go on to the measures we will be looking at total sales total quantity total order we'll look at total deliveries average selling price and then we'll look at two derived measures for our e-commerce demonstration to create your first measure for us it is total sales same thing as total revenue click down here and then go to the formula bar enter the name total sales The formula, of course, will be the sum of revenue. We call the sum function and then revenue. This will do. Enter. This will give us the total revenue. The next we want to look at is total quantity, same function. Then we bring in the quantity. That gives us the total quantity. Let's look at the total orders. For the total orders, we are not going to use the sum function. We will just count, but the count, we need distinct count. So we use the distinct count function. Then we look at the order ID found in orders table. Let's go, enter. This gives us the distinct count of order 50 then the next we want to look at is the average selling price but the average selling price will divide the total sales by the total quantity so we use the divide function the numerator will be the total sales divided by the total quantity And then we specify an alternate result using zero. This is to avoid division by zero error. If the denominator is zero, this will return zero instead of the error. So we enter. Okay, so this gives us the average selling price. Now let's look at the total deliveries. Or total delivery. For the total deliveries, we'll count the order IDs. We'll use the count row function. Now let's look at some derived measures for our e-commerce insights, such as revenue per order. We'll divide the total revenue by the total orders. then lastly we look at the units per order units per order now you know how to create measures and calculated columns using dax in excel power pivot let's use the measures we've created to derive useful business insights you can do that using the pivot table you can either go through the pivot table here or you can go back to the excel worksheet right while we're here you click on insert pivot table do not choose from table slash range go with from data model
Right, here we have the, the different tables in our data set and the model. If you scroll down, you see the one in Excel. Right, so you we'll click on others table. If you click, you'll see the different measures we've calculated. For you, it might be different, but be sure of the particular table that contains the measures. Pick other date to rows. Right, this gives me the year and the month. Uh, let me just go with just a month. I'll remove this one. Right, and then uh, we go down to revenue, pick revenue to values. Okay, with this, you can add slices if you wish. Go to pivot analyze. Here you have slicer. Okay, we can add. Now, this particular slicer is for the table we are looking at, but let's click on all and see other tables. Let's say we're interested in segments, we're interested in, okay, not customer name, we are interested in CT. We also want to filter by product category, right? So we, yeah, we have product category and any other thing of interest here. Okay. All right, so we have this and this. You can format as desired. You see per month, you can see based on the particular segment I've selected, you can make your report. Retail, cancel this. Then if you want to see for cities, right, for the particular city, or if you really want to create your own pivot table for the city instead of using the filter, you can simply come over here and copy this, paste it here. And then since you're looking at city, Let's remove the filters. Remove the filter. All right. Since you're looking at CT, maybe you'll need to remove the month. Remove the month and go to customer. Go to customers and you'll see CT if you're interested in CT. Right. If you're interested in segments, you remove that and click on segments. And there you have it. Easy to come by your insights and decision making. In this session, you've created an e-commerce data model, starting from getting your data, you got your data into Excel, you uh, brought the power pivot environment, which we use for creating DAX measures. You know the basic DAX terminologies and so on. You've created your calculated column, you've created measures, you've looked at them using the pivot table, You've used slices, you know how filters works, and so on. This is the basic level. The next video that comes up will take us to the next layer of DAX. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and share.